van camper project. Uh, so, uh, I decided I need some uh, insulation to go on the windows uh, in the back because uh, obviously they let a lot of cold or hot air through. Uh, I saw a post on the internet about using uh, those uh, aluminium foil rescue thermal blankets for that but I sadly couldn't source any of those locally. Uh, but uh, I did find some of these uh, uh, car, uh, you know, windshield cover thingies which uh, seem to be pretty much the same stuff, a kind of roughened aluminium foil with a plastic backing. Uh, now, I want to have these easily removable so I'm not just going to glue them to the window or anything. And uh, uh, here you can see uh, my plan. So, uh, this is the wonky side. Uh, let's go to the better side uh, where I'm I haven't glued this yet. Uh, so, I'm using uh, fridge door magnets and uh, this uh, sheet, this is an uncut sheet, I've just uh, strapped ar around the door uh, kind of tightly to squeeze it up uh, as good as possible. And then I've uh, uh, used uh, fridge door magnet strips to just uh, kind of uh, frame out the window and uh, on the inner side of this is uh, space for one actual strip and this is the strip that I'm going to glue uh, to the actual uh, aluminium foil. So I have a template here that's holding the, the foil to the vehicle and uh, I'm going to glue another row inside of that. So. I've just templated it all out. I have very little tolerances here because it's very tight on the inside. Uh, and uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use just a shoemaker's glue of one kind or another. And uh, I might have to uh, kind of magnet these down uh, to, to the vehicle in order to uh, make them stick. Or in fact I might actually just uh, draw a line. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to uh, draw a line along there where I want the magnets and then I'm going to take it down and put it uh, on the trailer and clamp it down there. Alright, and in short, all of that went to crap because the shapes I want uh, uh, on the inside simply aren't close enough to the shapes of a window on the outside. So, uh, I did glue everything together uh, on the trailer and it uh, uh, didn't really turn out perfect. So, uh, this is the one that was on the car on the right side, the one that I called crappy and uh, I've basically realized the same thing with both of them. Uh, so the only magnet that really needs to be on the outside of this material is the top one and because that one needs to really adhere very well to the metal uh, when you're putting it in place. But uh, as long as you've got that one and one other and preferably that one on the other side, then you can adhere them quite well to a window by just slapping external magnets on down there and along this line. Uh, now I did a whoopsie while making this uh, side because uh, I uh, tested it on that door and that one's obviously a mirror image of the other door so the temple has got all wrong and I mixed up which magnet should be uh, on the other side. Uh, but it did turn out relatively well. Uh, afterwards, although it's kind of dicky to put this one on compared to how well it can go. Uh, the real issue is very specific to this vehicle because, uh, as you can see, the window has this little ledge in front of it. And this is round, so the magnets wounded here. And uh, this goes against the gasket as well as the bag goes against the gasket. So you have to adhere top, bottom, and rear on this little ledge. Uh, only on this particular part can you actually slap a magnet like so. And uh, that, that, that makes it easy to mount that magnet but all the other others are a bit hellish. But uh, if you have the top one uh, steadily mounted and the one going in the rear you can just kind of poke those on and then poke that one on and poke that one on and it'll sit uh, quite easily in place. Uh, but uh, yeah, it does work, and uh, the magnets have reasonable adhesion, even though they're on this side. They don't like going through anything at all. These magnet strips, they are really weak. Uh, but that's you know suitable for the application because if they were strong, I'd risk damaging the material while ripping them off. So yeah, the way it does work, and we do get a pretty good seal down here since it's providing very even pressure. 
and uh, yeah, I guess it, this one is kind of nice since it does have a magnet on that side, so you can just poke it there. But yeah, main, main thing, it, it takes a minute, uh, but after that kind of fiasco, uh, I started working on the rear doors, and uh, I decided to use an entirely different technique for these. So, for starters, uh, I I cut out uh, with this translucent plastic, I cut out uh, just a, a profile of a window. This one will, is absolutely the same shape as that window, and the window on the other side is a perfect mirror image of that one. So, uh, that works out as a template for both sides. And uh, I then cut out uh, this piece with a bit of extra. And uh, on this one, I just uh, kind of magneted it on on the back side and uh, then taped it in place while I put glue on the magnets. And now the magnets are magnetically attached to the metal and pushing onto the glue joint and uh, waiting for the glue to cure. So I'm probably going to leave this here overnight. It does fit and seal quite well. I used a bit of a shy piece, so I'm going to have to add a little extra bit where I've got quite a bit of uh, uh, scraps of this material, so it's no big deal. I have to figure out something to do about this. Might put like a piece of magnetic strip in there or something and just have it climb down like that or I'll just poke it in underneath. Well, that's just a minor issue. It does stick on quite well on the rear door. This one's so much easier, easier to access than the side doors. And for the last one I'm actually using more scraps than gluing these end bits together because as you can see the original form of this material was kind of windshield shaped. Uh, so I've cut out, uh, out of two of them, I've cut out these uh, square-ish ones for the side windows and that leaves me with four of these end bits and these two turned out to be a pretty much perfect size to cut out the last window from. So I've just uh, put a row of glue along there and I've, I'm using a couple of magnet st strips to just lightly squeeze it together while the glue cures. And then I'm just going to do exactly the same thing for that one as I did on the other rear door. Uh, this is the left hand side, side door. Uh, this one turned out pretty okay. I'm reinforcing all the glue, adding a bit more uh, glue just into the joint because the original glue I just didn't use enough. You need to use a lot of this glue. It just takes a lot to actually add here. Probably it gets very hard and brittle if you don't use enough. But when you, if you dab on generously, it turns into this very tacky, gooey, silicon-like uh, material. And yeah, this one's curing. It should be pretty much done by now. Ah, oh, there we go. The glue has pretty much cured on the left-hand side the cover. And this one turned out a bit nicer. Fits a lot better than the other. So, yeah. Hey, it's dark in here. So this one has... The magnet up top is attached on the outside as well as the magnet in front and uh, the magnet back there. Now again, ideally this one wouldn't really be here, but oh well, that's the way it turned out. And this one you just slap on after you've got it all kind of, kind of in place. It'll just store like there. So that should provide a pretty good seal, I think, because if it was just left flapping, that would be no good, but if we snuff a magnet on there, yeah, if I put it properly, it'll do a damn tight seal there. There shouldn't be much cold seepage through there at all. Now, the real question is how well these actually work. Uh, I've got no idea, I've never tried this before, but apparently the Emergency blank blankets work, so I don't see why these wouldn't. Oh, there we go, last one in place and magnets glued on. The glue is setting and let it set overnight. So, that uh, would be all of the window insulation. I'm just going to put a little patch there, but that's no biggie. Oh, 
That doesn't look too bad. Looks a bit silly, perhaps. But uh, I think it's going to do an okay job. I guess I'm going to have to experiment, perhaps, flipping them over at some stage to see whether or not it's more in line with my needs to have them um, reflecting off stuff from the outside. This is probably going to make it uh, harder for sun heat to get in. Whereas if I have a white side out, it's probably going to make it harder for the heat to get out. I would imagine they kind of have some diode action. And granted, I could be entirely wrong and and just the aluminium foil on one side is enough to make them horrible at conducting heat in either direction. But uh, they certainly uh, are going to provide an improvement in the thermals. Certainly, I noticed just while working at the van, uh, I had the front doors closed and th th it was kind of warmish inside the van, uh, even though the rear doors were open. And because there's just so much stored heat in, in in all the stuff in here. And it certainly goes along well with my white theme. We do have a little bit of light seeping through them as well, which is kind of pleasant. It's not entirely pitch black in here. Granted we do have the front view window there. But it's not too bad, it's pretty cosy. Yeah, you're going to have to patch those up ever so slightly, figure out a little maint for the brake lights, or although grants I can just tape them down. That's just such a small spot, it's not a big bother to just tape them. I think I'm probably going to end up doing that. Yeah, I guess I'll round it up. Thank you for watching. Cheerio!